Now, roads less traveled in fishing might mean an outing for a fish that's largely overlooked by the fishing public. It might also suggest traveling into remote territory. We also propose that roads less traveled in fishing might well refer to the use of fishing approaches that most anglers can't quite embrace, as is the case here. Wow, that is a beautiful way to start today. Wow. Sweet, man. That is a big fish for the North Country. What a pig. That's a good, solid five and three quarter, six pound fish. You know, and when we're talking roads less traveled, it's not just a matter of going to strange places and fishing for strange fish, but you can be using presentation methods that just aren't very used very much. And that too is a road less traveled. And I love to use big musky style baits, thumper jig uh, trailers like that, or I mean swim bait trailers like that. And that happens to be a power bait uh, rip and shad. And that's the five inch bait on a one ounce jig head. And that has been dynamite for me. Wow, that is an incredible way to start. We've got the front face of this reed bed right here. And it's pretty deep water. It's four or five feet deep right here. So it's a perfect kind of spot for these fish. I got to get up just a little closer. And basically when you're working this kind of stuff, at least the first pass, you want to make casts that go into the reeds, actually just dip into the reeds and then bring it back out. And then a little bit later on, we'll actually get right up in there. And the splash itself oftentimes just alerts the fish to the something being there. Boy, another one followed it out. I'm going to have to give him something else. There we go. And what I had done there is I had seen, I got up too close when I caught that first fish and saw three or four fish follow, follow me out, but they wouldn't bite. So I just backed off a little bit and I switched up, that's another beautiful fish. I switched up the vibration package. And I'll show you what I got on here. There it is. That's the Magnum Chigger Craw right there. The giant Chigger Craw. That's the Power Bait, Berkeley Power Bait Chigger Craw. They've just introduced this this past year. Giant thumping legs. And again, well, we'll have a closer look at the lure in just a second. All right, down you go. All right, now, what I've been trying to teach people for a long time is that, you know, basic fundamental buck parry principles. Depth first, always the most important factor in the presentation process. Speed and then how you're working the lure is always second. And then there's a bunch of variables like the bait profile, bait size, bait, you know, weight and a shape and how much noise it makes. But I think vibration is the third most important factor. And that's why I keep playing with these trailers so much, no matter what species I'm fishing for. So when I first tossed that swim bait trailer and this big one ounce jig in there and caught a fish, and then when they rejected that the second time through, I picked up the same jig package, but with a different vibration uh, approach to the whole process. So big thumper legs now off to the side. They're paddling like mad. They're giving off, you know, they're heavy, heavy legs. This is a big package right here. So just a different vibration picture as well as a, a little bit different visual picture. All right, let's get to, we'll try that other little patch at the beginning there that we haven't been through yet. <clears throat> oh man. Boy, did he eat that. Followed it right out and ate it. Get down here and get him. Yay, that's gonna be big fish for the day. Wow, six pound fish, unbelievable. And again, I had switched up from using the swim bait trailer to a smaller jig. This is a little bit shallower spot with the great big different colored uh, Chigger craw, big bait. And that bass, I saw her come right out of there. I dropped the jig, she followed it down, didn't take it off the bottom. And then I picked it up again and she just ate it on the swim. Beautiful fish. Wow, these baits do their job. Just changing up again a little bit with the wobble. 
the vibration pattern that you're giving these fish with these big jigs, big and bold for big bass.